But when the career, but when the, but when the careers are over, when the careers are over, uh, I know what people say about Eddie, you know, and and and, and do you know what? It shouldn't be like that because he's delivered for a lot of people, Eddie. He's made he's made quite a few people rich, but he's also got a few kids battered, hasn't he? But it's up to them what they do with the money, in it, or if they can't train correctly and that. He's, he's just there to give you opportunities, so when he's giving you opportunities, you've got to grab them with both hands. Look at Tony Bellew. He never beat a champion, but he got four pay-per-views. How did he do that? I'll tell you how he did it. He piled Eddie Hearn up, didn't he? Kept making a fuss out of him. You know, every time Eddie went up to Liverpool, he were walking about making out he read his minder. And, you know, and fucking always there to back him up and... He was always there to sing Matchroom's praises on and do favours and be a nice guy and all that. He played a blind at Tony Bellew, didn't he? But when the truth be known, when Tony Bellew had to fight anybody that were really, I don't know, even a 50-50 fight, he was found wanting, one not he, really? A very limited box of Tony Bellew, very limited. But he got four pay-per-views out of the job, so... He must have been doing something right, but Eddie Hearn has to be given credit, and so does Tony Bellew as well. He has to be given credit because they played the game, played the system, and won. How many boxers try and play the system and don't win? How, how many? Dillian White's winning, isn't he? We're getting pay per views, but he might never win a world title, so he didn't get the world title and the pay-per-views, and they got one, whereas Bellew, he got a world title as a gift, vacant belt, against a guy who never beat a champion, just like him, and he got four pay-per-views. Now, Dillian's on his fourth pay-per-view, isn't, isn't he next week, or week after? Not fought for a European yet, so it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. But... 34, do you look forward to the Ruiz versus AJ Remax with excitement? Jeff and Tina in Dumfries, Scotland. Yeah, I do look forward to that fight. I think that's a big fight now, that. Ruiz is obviously a megastar now, isn't he? Plus, he's from Mech and Core, so it'll do loads of buys. And Daz own, really, people are laughing and saying they're glad Joshua lost. But when you look at it really, Dazon are in a stronger position than ever now because they need that Ruiz fight more than ever. And they also need that Ruiz fight. They need it in America, don't they? They need it in America because they need that perfect time zone. That's why it won't happen in England. Is it true you and Denny Sobson had a scuffle in an hotel in Bulgaria over a round of drinks, Ray in Derby? Yeah, it is. I've just explained that. How do you think the heavyweight division will look this time next year? Who will have the belts? Steve in Neef. Uh, I think Wilder will have all the belts next year. Every single one of them. That's what I think. I'll go on record as saying that. 37. What's your predictions for the following up and coming fights? Wilder Ortiz, AJ Ruiz 2, White Rivers, Stephen Neef. And who's next for Tyson Fury, Stephen Neef? Uh, I'm going to go for. Wilder to beat Ortiz. I'm going to go for Ruiz to beat AJ in the rematch. And I'm going to go for Dillian White to beat Rivers. And next up for Tyson Fury, I'd say Big Baby Miller because he's got the profile. Even though if he did fight Miller, it'd be drug cheat versus drug cheat, wouldn't it? But Tyson schools Miller. Porky is Carl Frotch as tight with money and things like that as people say he is. 
on the boxing forums and on social media. Christopher in Warrington. Uh, figure spoke about this. Carl's just careful, isn't he? You know, he's very, very careful. He goes to Poundland and that. Why not? As well, I mean, if you want sellotape, why pay three quid from a shop when you can go to Poundland and get it for a quid and buy ten rolls? I don't know. I mean, I think it's just he's just regimented, Carl. Isn't he? when he was at Lennox Lewis College in Clapham, he used to wash. He was only boxer who washed his car outside gym. Everybody else went car wash, didn't they? Dave Walker and Lee Meager and all them, McCracken. They went to car wash, but Carl didn't. So the McCracken threw flour all over his car, didn't he? Uh, so I don't know, but uh, it's up to Carl, isn't it? He's careful with his money and he's worth millions, isn't he? He's got loads of money, very rich. 40. Porky, are you a fan of boxing social? Yeah, I do watch some of their stuff. From Noel in Belfast. 41. Is Nazim Hamid an old an old old time an old time great? Porks. Danielle in Wembley. Yeah, he beat nine world champions, yeah, and he's in Hall of Fame, yeah. 42. Porky, do you think Tyson Fury? Will rematch Wilder before 2022. Marcus in Southport. No, I don't. I don't think that fight ever happens. Porky, is Dennis Hobson going to sign a new talent? Tony in Ghoul. Yeah, signed Tyrone Nurse. Josh Whale. And there's a couple more in the pipeline. A friend that wants. There's a mate of Billy Dibbs coming on board because Billy Dibbs a mate of Dens. 44. Porky, would you ever do a live pod? Tyrone in Bakewell, yeah I would. 45, who's greatest ever boxer Porky? Joe in Wales, Muhammad Ali. You know the answer to that, surely. Porky, why is it when Tyson Fury is called the greatest heavyweight at the moment, do you say he won one world title fight all the time? In Melda from Bolton. Is that a Melda from Cafe opposite Peter Fury's old gym? Uh, Tyson Fury's won one world title fight one. Does that warrant him being the best heavyweight in the world? If so, does it mean it's a poor era? Yeah. Yeah, it does. One win. On it. One world title win one. How many Wilder got? Nine? Ten? I don't know, you tell me. How many Joshua have? Seven, eight? I don't know. Did you feel you had to be so hard on the next gen Your Call Show, Porky, as there was a lot of up and coming talent on there? Andy in Chessington. Well, Eddie Earn promised his world title fights every non pay per view. He's not been delivering, has he? For the, is it the 23rd time out of the 26 or something? Since he promised it, it's 20 odd, isn't it? Porky, when Tyson Fury beats Joe Lewis defence record of Laniel title wins, are you still going to keep your word to street down Silver Street in Doncaster Town Centre? From Michelle and Rebecca in the sandwich shop in Silver Street, Doncaster. Uh, yeah, I will. I will street down there naked in a pair of night trainers and more mile New York running socks. I will run run down the street. If he beats Joe Lewis's record. If he beats he's gotta get a belt first though, hasn't he? Gotta get a belt, but if you count in this Laniel, God Tyson could if Tyson Fury, right, carries on how he's doing, he could he could beat the record, couldn't he? Because he could just defeat, could keep fighting bin men, couldn't he, like Tom Swartz? So I might have to do it. But yeah, I will I will stick to it. I will stick to it. If he can beat Joe Lewis's defence record, I'll stick to what I said. Question 50. Porky, any plans for a Porky event or Porky clothing line? As it's all a bit stop-start, isn't it, of late? As one minute it's yes, then it's no, then it's yes, then it's no. Michael in Chester. 
51. Porky, did you laugh when AJ got iced by Ruiz? Flow in Essex. Yeah, I did laugh. Yeah, I did, yeah. And I'm glad he got beat. Yeah, I'm glad. So am I going to say, no, no, I'm not glad he... I'm good he lost. I wanted a Brit to win. No. I wanted Andy Ruiz to knock him out and batter him. And he did. Joshua's okay. He lost. And that's what I wanted to happen, so, yeah. I'll go on record as saying I wanted Joshua to lose. Why would I say, oh, no, no, I wanted him to win, you know? He said I'd be a two-faced cunt, wouldn't I? Of course I wanted him to lose. I wanted the landscape to change for the better. And now it has, hasn't it, hopefully. Question 52, Huey versus Peter. Samuel Peter in Jeddah. Your thoughts, Porky? Charlie and Rotherham. Uh, Samuel Peter, former WBC champion. Uh, he's beat. He's got wins over four world champions. One including James Tony, who was an Hall of Famer. Nailed on for Hall of Fame. Uh, Samuel Peter is younger than Povetkin and he's younger than when Vladimir Klitschko fought Tyson Fury so why is it a bad fight? He's a former world champion he gets Yui fighting in another country different time zone in a hot country they're selling him out in Jeddah and he's getting a few quid and he's keeping active so that's a good thing isn't it? And what about Khan in Jeddah, Charlie and Rotherham? Khan's fighting Billy Dib now. Uh, oh, we're going to move up to lightweight. And Amir's a welterweight, so Amir's going to have, a, have a, a bit of a, a bigger advantage in weight. But Amir started out as a lightweight, didn't he? So, it is what it is. So good luck to Yui Fury. But let's not forget, we all said Yui beat Parker. And Parker beat Ruiz, and Ruiz beat Joshua. So Yui's in the mix, isn't he? But I'd like to think after Peter fight, they're going to step him up. Who knows? If they want to get him 10 wins and build his confidence up and wait for the landscape to change, good luck to him, isn't it? But it is what it is, isn't it? But Yui should beat him. If he loses against him, he's finished, isn't he? Will you be attending the Jeddah show with Fury versus Peter? Samuel Peter Porky, Teddy in Edinburgh. No, I won't be attending it. No, I don't have a passport. My passport is void at the moment. I've got an appealing on it, it's a long story. Flightright.com. It's the longest six month of my life at the moment. Waiting for it to be sorted. So now I won't be going. 55. How long do you plan on doing your channel? Selena in Doncaster. Uh, as long forever. I'm going to do it forever. I love it. I love it. Things are going fantastic for me. 56. What's best pay-per-view Eddie's done? Andy in Bishops. Andy Bishops. Straps, is it? Start for the Stratford is that? I don't know. What's best pay for you, Eddie's done? Andy Bishop's Stratford. Can't make writing's terrible. Uh, best pay per view, Eddie's done. You'd have to say Frotch against George Groves, wouldn't you? One and two. I think so. Joshua against Vladimir, a good one. 57, what do you think to Eddie and Oscar tweets, Desi Darlington? Eddie Earn and Oscar De La Roya fucking going back like little cockheads. Little pricks going on social media like that, just trying to get a bit of attention and I don't know really. Uh, Eddie just loves it, he just loves camera, doesn't he, Eddie? He loves to be interviewed, he loves to be out there, doesn't he? He loves to, he loves, loves it, doesn't he? And Oscar, maybe he doesn't love it as much. But Oscar's had it all his life, hasn't he, since he won that gold in 92, so... 
Actually, Oscar De La Hoya is a nice kid. He, uh, Robin Reed spent a lot of time with him in, at Barcelona Olympics and he said he's a nice guy. So, who knows? But yeah, I think they're both cocks carrying off like that. Is Frank Smith and Norbert matching them for saying Ruiz versus AJ rematch? He's bigger than AJ Wilder, AJ Fury, and Fury versus Wilder rematch. Neil in Liverpool. No, I think it is. It's a big fight, isn't it? Ruiz has captured people's imagination, hasn't it? The public's imagination. It's a big fight, that rematch now. And they need it in America because it pays more money there. Because if they have it in England, uh, what will happen is Eddie will have to fork out for a stadium and that, and he'll be vulnerable if it's in England because Al Heyman might pull Ruiz out of the fight. And then Eddie would have to go through with it because he's already paid for everything. So then he'd get Joshua an interim fight. And what would happen then? Al Heyman would say, well, Ruiz has got to have an interim fight. They'd put him in with Wilder, wouldn't they? And then get all belts, and then where's that? Where's he go? Then he's froze out, then, isn't he? So this is this is another thing where Eddie he's, he's not really thought about it, is he? Why would you let an Al Heyman fight a fight for belt? But fifty nine. Will Dave Allen ever work with Frank Warren, Porky, Jimmy, and Kettering? Yeah, when he's when he's burnt all his bridges with Eddie, and he's probably going to have about. I mean, I've heard David's going around saying that he's probably going to have seven or eight more fights with Sky. You know, over, over the next three years. And if Dave Allen were to work with Frank Warren, he'd want his money in an escrow up front. So that's the only, only way Dave Allen would work with Frank Warren. That's true, that. He'd want his money in an escrow up front. Is Del Boy Chisora shot, Porky? Yeah, shot to pieces. That's from Dean in Manchester. I met you, Porky, in Bulgaria with Dennis Hobson. Brilliant, uh, Dean. Thank you. 61 Porky, what what do you what do, Porky, what do you think about the commentary of late on boxing channels, Tony in Leeds, Hair Hills? I think it's pretty biased, the commentary. I think that uh, I think they just root for their man, don't they? Promoters just root for their men all the time, don't they? And the commentator doing the same, don't they? It's the same up here at weekend. Whoever's commentator for Dennis's show on Friday, they'll be big in the show up, won't they? It's what they're going to do, isn't it? So, Porky, do commentators influence the fans at home a lot? Same person, Tony and Ariel's lead. Of course, they influence the fans. If Eddie Hearn's got. A close fight, and and the summer happens, and fans are going to scream blood murder if they're watching it. I mean, look what happened with Groves Frotch. The public demanded it, and Eddie Hearn played to the tune, didn't he? Uh, not once did he turn around and say, "Oh, by the way, George Groves went to hospital and were kept in f f with a concussion after the first fight." Nothing was mentioned about that, was it? So. Porky, where did Andy Ruiz start his career, promoter-wise, promote, promote from Peter in Surrey? Uh, Andy Ruiz, I think, I'm not sure, but he's just come from Bob Arum, hasn't he? Bob Arum let him go when Al Heyman signed him. So, 64, are fighters being paid too much money, Porks? John in Oxford, Chipping Norton, <laughs> where's that? Uh, yeah, they are being paid too much money in America. That's why they all want to go to America, innit, and go on the zone and keep Eddie happy over there. Meanwhile, he's sticking it to Sky, who've been with Matchroom years. That shows you how loyal the Hearns are, doesn't it? Our broadcast partner, yeah, they love them, don't they? Shafting Sky subscribers, but lining the pockets with the zone. The great people, them, aren't they, Hearns? Does Wilder beat Ortiz at rematch, Porky? Tim in Alderley Edge. Yeah, Wilder beats him. 66. Who's best win out? Tyson, AJ and Wilder. Paul in Hyde Park, DN4. That's living Hyde Park. Uh, who's best win? Tyson Fury's best wins, Vladimir. Joshua's as Vladimir, but he were older. 
and Joshua knocked him out at one point, but he was older and he'd been on set 18 months. Wilder's best wins, Ortiz, who Joshua failed to, who Joshua didn't fight, and who Tyson Fury didn't want to fight. People forget that Tyson didn't want to fight Ortiz, remember? Go and watch the Ingram Jones interview. He didn't want to fight him, and AJ didn't want to fight him. Hang on, who were that off? Because I know people like to get the name mentioned. Oh, Paul in Hyde Park. 67. Who is AJ versus Ruiz rematch? Is AJ versus Ruiz 2? A big fight, Porky. Yeah, it is. I mean, as in, is it bigger than Fury, AJ, Wilder, Round Robin, Giles in Sheffield? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. 68. Is it true AJ got iced in sparring and Hernan McCracken blagged him to fight Perry in Aldershot? I'm not sure on that, but I'm going to stick my tongue out, stick my neck out and say, yeah. Joshua won't right, and I think personally, I think something did happen, and, it, and it'd have to be the biggest cover-up ever, because if your fighter's been knocked out in sparring, and you've not, and you've made, you've had him fight within a week or within seven or eight days, what sort of person are you? What if Joshua would have got seriously hurt? What would have happened then? All them millions at stake. You've got McCracken there with his 3.5 million paycheck. You've got Eddie Hearn. Right? Eddie Hearn were on 7 million from that one. It's 7 million Eddie Hearn were on. Plus all add ons with Dazone. On Joshua's cut, he'd have been on 7 million. McCracken on 3.5 million. Money at stake was unbelievable. And Joshua just looked like he'd had enough. He looked like. It were being used, didn't it, I think. And I'm, I feel for Joshua. I'm now a Joshua fan. I know that's crazy, but I'm now feeling for Joshua. I'm going to root for Joshua. But I think he were used. Is it Eddie Hearn? Crackers giving a... Is Eddie Hearn Crackers giving a Heyman fighter a shot at Ruiz? Alan in ball with Doncaster. Yeah, I think he is Crackers giving an Al Heyman fighter a shot. Uh, sorry, a shot at AJ, sorry. So, yeah. 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 Why would Eddie let an Al Heyman fighter fight him? They could have gone to Dillian White and give him a bit more money, but they, give, they got Ruiz to fight on the cheap, didn't they, really? Ruiz fought on the cheap, didn't he? Porky, do you think the WBSS is a great concept? If so, why is it not took off, Debbie in Manchester? Do you know what? I think you are absolutely right. I think the WBSS is brilliant, but if nobody's going to see it, it's no good, is it? The best fighting the best. But because you've not got Aram doing it, or Heyman, or Eddie Hearn, or Frank Warren, because it's the Sourland, it's not getting much credit, it's not got much credibility, has it? It's not as big as the Super Six were when Frotch and Ward were, were in that half for Abraham, Jermaine Taylor. Um. 71, what do you think to Channel 5 next show, Russ? Mark Siddall, not put where he's from. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, I think that. You know, Huey Fury's fighting Billy Dibb, both former world champions, aren't they? Sorry, Amir Khan and Billy Dibb are both former world champions, right? So that's a good fight, isn't it? I know Amir might be a touch bigger than him, but that's a good fight. And then you've got Huey against a former world champion, and Huey should have had a belt, shouldn't he, against Parker? So you've got two good fights there. So on free to air TV, I think it's all right. Tyson Fury fought a bum for 20 quid of a night. Huey's fighting somebody, be somebody better than Tom Swartz, and it's not 20 quid, it's free. And then you get Amir Khan fighting a former champion in Billy Dibb. I think Billy Dibb's coming to win as well. Uh, so I think it's good, it's free, and it's on TV. Just like Dennis Hobson's show in a couple of days on... Uh, Pons Ford, Tyrone Nurse, Tommy Frank, Josh Whale, all on free-to-air TV. 
Why not? Why not get behind guys like that? Tyrone Nurse is going to beat that kid he's fighting. Then he's going to call out Conor Ben. So I want you to all get behind me and keep tweeting Conor Ben to fight Tyrone Nurse. Because we want to see Conor Ben in a fight, don't we? Or Josh, Te or Josh Kelly. Because I think Tyrone Nurse, ISIS. Josh Kelly and, and Conor Ben. But they're going to get Conor Ben a world title when time's right on pay per view, I've been told. They're going to build Conor Ben up for pay per view. That's just how it is, I'm afraid. That is just how it is. The train with Chris Eubank, but they're going to do that. And the Hearns, they love recycled crap, don't they? They love it, they love it. So, but they're good business people as well. The Hearns are very hard workers, so we shouldn't dig them out all the time. They've done a lot for boxing and a lot of good. They've got a good team behind them. Frank Smith's going to be face of boxing next year, I've been told. So, I think it's all good, all good positive stuff, and that's what we want, don't we? Positive stuff in boxing. So, but other than that, everything's all right. I'm. Uh, I'm glad I've just done this video, really, really glad, I can go home now, get changed, go for a game of snooker and then I'll do inserts of it next week for this video, so put some inserts with it, this video can go out as a, as a two parter, I hope you enjoy it, shout out to Climber Cool and South Yorkshire Packaging and a shout out to Castle Conservatives of Doncaster and Ledger Frames of Cunningsborough. So, everybody's in a good place, we're all happy. I hope everybody who's watching this, I hope you and all your families are all okay. And I hope you've all pressed the like button to say you like the video. And I hope that you've all subscribed and told all your friends to subscribe. Because the channel's going in a different direction now. We're trying our best to uh, move it forward. It's not easy. Trust me, doing something like this, it's not, it's not as easy as you think. But, like I said, it's going all right. So, peace out. Keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. All right. I hope that you've enjoyed this video a lot and that you don't think it's because that's what we don't like to eat in boxing in it bullshit because there's too much of it about in there too much of it about but keep your questions coming in porky corner at mail.com no capitals that's porky corner at mail.com not porkies Porky corner at mail.com keep your questions coming in the next when we get built up to 100 questions of it next month I'll do another one I'll answer all your questions and it gives me and, it, and it's and you can obviously put your name on it if you want to send me it off a, off a dodgy email if that's what you're all about do that there's too many people sending me dodgy emails I don't know who it is wanting me to ring them and this and that it could be anybody half of them are blags half of them are just obsessive stalkers who really want to get to know me and, mo and majority of them are probably genuine but it spells it for rest keep the questions coming in right and I'll read them out but when you put your question like who do you think is best middleweight in world or something put from Fred in Doncaster or Rotherham or wherever you're from put where you're from and I can say then and do you know what I mean you can put your full name if you want as well I'll read that out if you want, if you want your name read out. So, alright. So, I better get this tucked down. I'm not ready for, for a show on Friday. Weighing Thursday. Stay. Alright, so, let's go. Alright.